everybody, welcome back to my channel, and hi if you're new here, I'm Melissa, and I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos here on this channel. Today we're going to be trying out the new products from Kosas. So this is the Kosas Concealer, and their Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. I've tried their oil foundation in the past, and I actually loved it, I just don't have it on hand anymore because I used it up. So I'm going to try this out today. I also have a little mini Sephora haul that I figured I would just throw in here because I went to go pick this up, and I found some other things. So let's just dive right into it. I'm going to be doing a wear test so we can see how this looks on my skin and how well it wears throughout the day. I'm not gonna put a primer on, but let's just see. I hope this color works. I really didn't even color match myself. I just picked one that looked about right. I think that'll work. While I'm wetting my sponge and it's soaking up, I had this idea to try all of the clean beauty foundations that are available on Sephora, plus their concealer, and see which one is the best. So we're starting with Kosas. I wanna try the list, the LYS Beauty one next, because I have both the concealer and the foundation for that brand as well, and I know they have setting powders and stuff. I didn't buy the Kosas setting powder because I tried it in the past and I didn't think it was that good. I tried it with their old foundation and it just didn't work and I didn't understand. So I don't have it, but it's okay. I'm just gonna jump right into this. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit though. I just want you guys to be able to see how this applies to the face. I'm going to put like one pump on here and see how far that goes. And if you see the strap riding up, I got this shirt from Eloquy, I think, and I don't know how I feel about it. It's like this multi-strap situation. It's pretty cute, but my strap keeps riding up. All right, here we go. It smells like sunscreen. Not like a good tropical sunscreen scent, just like the literal mineral itself. First impressions, the sponge does definitely soak up a lot of the foundation, so you're probably going to have to do three pumps for your face or so. It looks pretty full coverage. What are the claims? Natural Dreamy Finish, Skincare Powerhouse, SPF 25, Good for Sensitive Skin, Medium Coverage. I would definitely say this is medium coverage. It is a solid medium coverage. Previously, I was using the Ilia Skin Tint, but I found that it leaked after a while, and I thought that was too dangerous to have in my collection, because that could spill everywhere. So I'm going to see how this one is, and if it's better than the Ilia one. I can tell right away from this formula, it's not going to be mask proof. This formula definitely will come off if you wear a mask, but it's not meant to be transfer proof. So there is that. I think I've used a total of probably three pumps because one of them was a half pump. So three pumps for my entire face. I don't really care how many pumps I use, just in case somebody does. And I'm sure you would use less pumps if you used a brush. Looking at the finish overall, I think it's gonna settle into my fine lines and it's not hiding any of my natural texture. And I have very, very textured skin. Let me see if I can show you. Can you see any of my natural texture? I'm unsure, but it's there. <laughs> it does feel really nice on the skin. It feels honestly like a moisturizer. It's kind of giving me It Cosmetics CC cream vibes, but just a little bit, I wanna say lighter than that. And I think it's because there's less SPF in it than the It Cosmetics CC cream. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the concealer now. So for me, the concealer, like you can definitely see that it brightened up my eyes, but to me, the concealer is a little bit light in terms of coverage. It's not super full coverage for me. Maybe it's because I'm using a sponge. I think it did a good job, though, because I can still set it with some powder. I'm going to be using my hourglass powder because that is, like, my gold standard powder. I use that to set, like, everything. Overall, though, I think it's not scented. I think it's fragrance-free, so I like that. I like that it has a light amount of SPF. It has an SPF of 25, so it's not in your face like the It Cosmetics one. It definitely feels light. It's not making my skin itchy or tight. I don't know if this is going to be great for my oily girls just because I don't think this is drying down really at all it's kind of staying a tiny bit tacky and i don't know if it's really giving me a glow but it definitely was a good color match for me i think that matched really well if it's not matching on camera at least it's matching in person let's do the haul now because i have some products i want to try so i picked up this iconic london silk glow duo it is a highlighter and blush duo i didn't even go into the store to get this but it ended up coming home with me it was one of those days where sephora was telling me what i needed so let me show you it's beautiful here's the shades it's like a glowy pink and then a glowy highlight i'll take some swatches for you it's gonna be hard to see because they're more of like a diffused shimmery shade so that's really pretty glad i picked that up next 
I picked up the Olaplex number no. 9 Bond Protector. It's a nourishing hair serum. I thought this would be great for before I style my hair. I've been switching up my hair products and it's been working really, really good. So I can share that with you guys soon if you want. But it's really been good with my hair as it's been growing out and the blonde is coming out. The next product I picked up was the, what is this? The Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Cheriosa number no. 40. It is a black amber plum and vanilla woods body spray. It says hair and body fragrance mist. It just smelled so good. I was in the checkout line and then I saw this and I had to get it. I smelt it and I was like, oh my goodness. I didn't realize that this is a travel size because this looks like a full size to me, but this is a travel size and they have a huge one. I do want to try the other one. I just haven't tried it yet. And this strap is going to drive me nuts. Stay down, stay down. Apparently it smells like Baccarat Rouge or whatever, but I don't know about that, but it smells really good. All right, a few more things. I got the Grande Mascara. It's a conditioning peptide mascara. I thought my lashes could use it. I picked up another one of these Makeup Forever Starlit Diamond Powders. I have one in ivory, and it is my favorite inner corner highlight color. Oh, no. <laughs> I saw one on the display, and so I grabbed it, and I got the wrong one. That is so sad. I was going to use it today. Well, I got this Diamond Starlit Powder. It's like a blue. I don't like that. That's gonna go back. It was such a beautiful pink color and I wanted to wear it today. Ugh. Oh well, I did pick up, maybe I'll wear this instead. I picked up another one of the Hourglass Scattered Light colors. Please be right. Please be right. Yes, okay, this one, I got this one in smoke. I love these eyeshadows. They are one of my favorite formulas. They're just so beautiful. I have a few. This one right here is smoke. They just have a beautiful sheen to them that I cannot get over. Maybe what we'll try today, I already have the one in Aura, and this is like a pink one from the Hourglass Scattered Light Collection. And I also have these ones right here, Ray and Reflect. We have options. And I think last but not least from my haul, I picked up this Bare Minerals Gen Nude Bronzer. No, Blonzer. It is a blush and bronzer. What is this? Kiss of Pink. Let's hope this one's right. Perfect. It just looked like a really beautiful color. I'm making sure nobody swatched it. There's been so many times I picked things up from Ulta and it was swatched and I had to go return it. Sephora, not so much, but always at Ulta. Here's it right here. I know they look similar in the swatch, but I promise you they're different. Okay, so this is what we have to work with as far as new makeup. I think it would be super pretty to wear that taupe color. I'm gonna go nuts. Like, I'm literally gonna go nuts, guys. How did I get glitter down my neck? We're just gonna put this across here and whatever happens, happens, because it's frustrating. All right, back to the look. Back to the look. I'm still so crushed by this diamond powder. I am crushed. Blue of all colors. I hate blue. I don't hate blue. It's just not my go-to color. All right, what am I even doing? Let's start with eyes. I'm gonna try to go through this really quickly though because I feel like just the foundation review alone will be kind of boring. So, unless it's not, let me know if you guys want me to do, when I do the future videos of the foundations and concealers, let me know if you want it to be just about the foundation because I can do that. makeup look it's just super simple I needed something easy breezy for the day but I will say for some reason my foundation looks a little heavy on me 
something is off about my makeup look today and I can't put my finger on it. I don't know why it just looks so off. Maybe because I went in with like a taupe on my eyes and I normally don't. Like maybe I should add a little bit more sparkle to my eye and it'll feel more normal. But right now something just feels off. I don't know what it is. And the foundation definitely oxidized darker for sure. All right, that's pretty i think what i didn't like is i got this new bobby brown eyeshadow in opalescent where'd it go yeah i got this new shadow in opalescent and it pulls a little bit yellow on my skin for some reason so when i put it over the taupe it just was like a weird combo i think it kind of made me look a little sickly if that makes sense <laughs> all right so this is just a natural makeup look that's kind of what i expected from the kosas products i am going to live my day today it's a saturday i'm gonna live it up and i will come back and check in with you guys probably in a few hours and then at the end of the day just so we can see how the foundation is wearing on my skin right now this is what it looks like it looks okay, but there's something off about it. I think it's just really highlighting my texture and my pores. I think on camera it looks okay, but in person it's looking a little bit, a little bit thick, I would say. Maybe I just used too much foundation, but I thought I was spreading it out enough. We'll see. I'll see how it looks at the end of the day, and I will meet you guys back here in a few. All right, you guys, so it's been like five hours, and this is what the foundation looks like. It definitely oxidized a little bit. If you can see my neck color and then my face color, it got darker. It settled into like my smile lines and my eyes, but I think overall it's holding up like really well. This honestly is outperforming some of my other foundations like the Givenchy Glow Foundation. I think that one breaks up more. It is breaking up on my nose, but I have gone outside to walk sunny, so it could be from that, but overall it looks really good. How's my foundation look? Oh yeah, it looks really good. Does it look cakey? No. Does it look glowy? Yes. Does it look hoey? No. <laughs> All right, besties, I'm back for my last check-in of the day. It's around seven o'clock right now, and I have a lot to report. So first of all, the foundation is looking thick on my skin. Let me, let me do a close up. Do you see all of this? So it looks really thick and cakey right here. It's rubbed off my nose. It's always looked really like thick and cakey on my chin for some reason. Yeah, I'm just getting thick and cakey from this and it's not really wearing well. I have other foundations that wear better than this. Honestly, my cosmetic foundation is similar and I think it wears better. It might be a little bit more expensive, but I think the overall experience on my face is way better with the it Cosmetic CC Cream. So unfortunately, I don't know if I can recommend this foundation and even the concealer, it's creasing under my eyes, the concealer is, and yeah, I'm not sure I love either of them. <laughs> I'm going to keep testing it out. So I'm going to give it another week of trial and error with the foundation and see if a different combination works. And if I find something that works and I decide to keep the foundation and the concealer, I'm going to pin a comment in this video so you can see like my final, final thoughts. But as far as this first impression goes, I'm not in love with how it wears because if I had a really long day, I wouldn't want to look this creasy and cakey. I didn't even end up wearing a mask today because we went to go run some errands and we totally forgot that in Jacksonville, everything is blown out on the weekends and it's Mother's Day weekend. So happy Mother's Day if you celebrate or if you're a mom. And if this is a hard holiday for you, then my heart is with you. I will be thinking about you. Yeah, so again, I kind, I really like the tone and the color. It's just, it's not it. I don't know. Something about it is just not driving well with my skin. And again, like I just said, if I try a different combination that works out great and I want to keep it, I'll let you guys know. But for now, not loving it. That was my final <laughs> review. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And my next foundation that I want to try is the LYS Beauty Foundation and their concealer and their primer. So I just returned the concealer that I got that was the wrong shade. And I have the new one coming in along with the new primer. So if you guys are interested in that video, please let me know. If not, I'm going to be testing it for myself because I am truly interested to see how that combination works. I also was thinking about trying the Milk Hydro Grip with their foundation because I haven't used their foundation in a long time. So there are so many foundations and concealers that we can test, guys. There's so much clean beauty out there. So if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a little comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.